So off we go. So you've got this um, software that you've produced and a VPN link to a Yeah, a so drone. I'll connect to the VPN now uh, with my phone. So that's connected now and I can start this Android app which will connect to the phone. Uh, through Bluetooth. Bluetooth. So it's connecting now to the drone and everything will go well. Um, so you're, you're, is this, uh, you're controlling the the um, quadcopter with, uh, from there or are you uh, want it just sending back yeah. data? So I send, send this and this goes through the VPN that's on a Google Cloud uh, platform oh. virtual machine in Sydney. And then that sends the commands to the phone that's connected to the VPN as well. So, uh, wow. And this, like, this is my Billy sort of joystick sort of thing. Oh, so you're, you're controlling it on the computer? Yeah. So that's what? So which is forward and back? And yeah. And uh, yeah, th th this is horizontal uh, movement, and this is vertical as well as rotation. Like, uh, that rotates around. Wow. And then That's an amazing little thing. Yeah, you're, not transmitting oh. the, you're not transmitting the images back. Oh, uh, no. I, um, you can only transmit images if you... Oh, let me just land that now. Are you using the app, an app, uh, to do that? Or you're uh, I'm app? using uh, Parrot's uh, SDK. And oh, I, yeah. I so built so an app. Software development kit. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so I built an app that allowed me to control the drone. Is that uh, from Java or something like that? What's uh, that? Yeah, yeah, Android Java. Yeah. So, so where, if that, so this goes from here to the cloud, yeah. and then you're from the cloud back to here, or to, to this or something. Yes, yeah. So yeah. Why do you need both machines? Right, I mean, presumably. Oh, so this, so the phone and the drone. If I, if I had um, yeah. uh, video as well. But to do video, you have to connect to this via its onboard Wi-Fi. So, yeah. um, so the drone and the phone could be somewhere else, yeah. and theoretically, and this you could be in a, another country with this and control the drone. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, oh, of course, because it's got a VPN. Yeah, yeah. And what about the lag, the the, the latency? Of um, your... Controlling is pretty fast. <laughs> um, it, I just I couldn't get I wanted to get video feed, but you have to connect to the drones on board um, uh, like, Wi-Fi, and then that means you can't connect to the VPN because you can't have two connections with so, the phone. So the wi the the images will come back through its own Wi-Fi unit to the phone. Is that right? Or um, y yes, yes. So so how does it get to the remote thing? Does it go to the cloud again, and then? You pull them down from the cloud if you want images at a remote position. Oh, um, you would have to have a drone that's connected straight to the VPN. I see. Some way. But this yeah. one's not. Yeah, no, no. Okay. And would the images be um, uh, of an acceptable speed, or would they be all lagged because it's coming through a Wi-Fi system? Yeah, that, um, that, that's uh, quite a big problem that they're working on at the, the company uh, doing this for low latencies. Uh, video transmission is really important to them, so I'll be working on that uh, in the future with okay. another sort of robot with a camera on that and creating a, a RTMP or RTSP stream with the camera and streaming that to a server, um, which I did a bit of last semester with um, a service called Wowzer, where you can create an um, RTMP server on there. Thank you very much. Cool. Thank you.